Hey, welcome into another edition of Bama and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from The Athletic. I'm Lance Taylor from The Next Round. This is where we talk bourbon and we talk Alabama athletics. Specifically, we're in March. It's March 1st as we record. It is March. Yeah, so we talk uh, Alabama basketball. But first, it's always brought to you by The Beverage Place and Pink Package. We'll give you more on those guys in just a second. Today, we are previewing Town Branch Bourbon Whiskey. This is out of Lexington, and I read that uh, it was the first distillery that was built in Lexington since That's cool. Prohibition. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice little story. Good bottle. We always talk about the bottle. Although, if you need a, a weapon for clue for the murder, this it, is... Uh, it this would one. work. I mean, what do you think that bottle's uh, three pounds? <laughs> it's, it's, and it's got some edges, like some, some sharp 90 degree turns to it. So, uh, it was the butler in the pantry with the town brand. I will tell you, you, uh, you smell it. It, it smells like all of, uh, what proof are we looking at? 90 proof right here. Okay. Uh, there you go. Cheers to uh, March, my friend. Cheers, bud. Uh, so there you go. Town Branch, they say um, the aroma, woody oak, hints of caramel with the taste, a little brown sugar. I'm getting something on the finish that I can't quite place. Uh, you know what I'm getting? is maybe what they say here, a cherry finish. Do you get that a little bit? I think my, my palate needed to be cleansed. I just drank some coffee before I came in. So let me get another. So again, this is Kentucky Straight Bourbon and it's out of Lexington. More so you see the, the Claremont, Kentuckys, the Louisville's, Lexington. I don't Frankfurt, know. Frankfurt. Yeah. yeah, Frankfurt. I don't know how much Lexington is in that uh, bourbon trail, that Not mix. Not much. Um, but Lexington's a cool spot if you've never been. Yeah, no, really cool college town. And uh, again, it's really cool packaging. Yeah. And uh, so far, so good. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know what I would say, a good 90 proof um, bourbon for you. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's Town Branch. We'll continue to talk about that. Uh, brought to you by Beverage Place and Pink Package. Aaron Suttles from The Athletic. Make sure you subscribe his stuff. He's got a, a new piece out on Alabama. A lot of additions to the yeah. football staff. I know we really don't have time to get into that today. Yeah. I'd rather people pay. It's yeah. only a buck a month now for the it athletic. It really is. a good, good bargain. It keeps me employed. So. Yeah, so there you go. Um, Alabama, two more regular season games. Um, they're coming off a one and one week. Um, or I guess they were 2-0 and last week, right? Yeah. Yeah, one and two if we go back to the loss to Kentucky. And, and one five of the last six. Yeah, one five of the last six. The one loss was to Kentucky. I yeah. mean, and we talked about this. Alabama fans are saying, okay, we're finally playing good basketball. These are five games you were supposed to win. You are supposed to win. So the, the schedule went in your favor and you won. And a lot of those games were at home where they've been really good. And um, yeah, I think it comes down to defense, playing defense. Against South Carolina, they shot the lights out in the first half, 50% from three. They're better in the paint than South Carolina. They're a better team than South Carolina. But what happens when you go on the road, when we get to Nashville, or no, it's in Tampa this Tampa, year. Tampa, yeah, which, um, which threw me off too. So when you get to Tampa, how well you play down there. But they are starting to play better basketball. But like Nate Oates keeps saying, it's all about defending. So you've got two more games. They've got A&M tomorrow night. Again, we're recording on this on March 1st on Tuesday. Yeah. Final home game. And then at LSU, which will be a difficult game on Saturday. LSU yeah. can be so up and down. But LSU can play really good defense really as can. well. Um, yeah, look, against South Carolina, I thought the defense was really good. And Javon Quinterly. Yeah. He's been so bad, his perimeter shooting yeah. this year, if you go back to last year, was really good behind the arc. Uh, but his last two games, he's 7 of 8. I mean, if yeah. he can heat up and you got Shackelford and Keon Ellis is probably playing his best basketball so right now. It's all about, with that team, regardless of how they defend, if, if, they, if they're on one night, you're not beating them. I mean, the way they can shoot the ball, the way their guards can get into the, the paint, penetrate and create uh, open shots for others, they're gonna, if they knock down shots, you're not going to beat them. When they're in that, regardless if they don't play defense, but to win in March, you got to have more consistent defense, and that's what Nate Oates is, is trying to be saying to his guards. Listen, I'm not going to play you if you're only worried about scoring. I need you on both ends. Right, and look, and that's to me the reason that Alabama was so good last year was, you know, we know what this offense was predicated on making that long ball, but I mean the defense they were able to play I mean, times last year. You're an NBA guy. Have you seen what Herb Jones is doing? He's yeah. locking people up. Oh, had, I, I knew he was good. Had, had him on LeBron the other night. Lance, I knew he was good. I didn't know he was that yeah. good defensively. He's, he makes life miserable. So yeah. he, he covered up a lot for Alabama. And I think there was a reason he was your SEC player yeah. of the year last year and a reason that Alabama not only won the regular season, yeah. conference, the but they won the tournament too. Yeah. And, you know, getting back to Tampa real quick before we get into this A&M and this LSU game. And, again, this is Bama and Bourbon with Aaron Suttles from The Athletic and Lance Taylor from the next round. Um, to me, the SEC, when you look at it, now Wheeler and Washington are back from Kentucky. We know how good Auburn has been. They've struggled a little bit based on competition. Yeah. Tennessee has really heated up. Arkansas is playing incredible basketball. 
I think Alabama is one of five teams that can win the SEC tournament if they if, if they, they're hitting the shots. Yeah, if they get if they get the right draw in the tournament, they hit the shots. I think they could they can make a deep run in it. it but you mentioned, I think the key for SEC teams is Wheeler and Washington be back. They're they're a completely different defensive yeah. basketball team with those guys out there. I think they're. I mean, Auburn beat them head to head. But I think Kentucky might be the team built the most to make the deepest run. See, I'm with you. Um, you know, I, I took a look at it, and Kentucky was down to like eight to one, so we couldn't get a ton of value for them to win a national championship. But I have got a feeling, of course, I've said this the last couple of years, this will be the Kentucky team with uh, Chibwe, the way that he rebounds, yeah. and when you get those healthy guards, <laughs> yeah. it's such a good team. Um, Auburn, you know, if they can not get. Playing- if they're most consistent right now. Yeah, and, and Kessler has kind of disappeared offensively. If they can get back in. And then it's like KD has a bad game. He comes back, but then Wendell Green has a bad game. If, yeah. if everything comes together for Auburn, they can be incredible. Oh, we've seen what, how good they are yeah. this year. The, the question you have right now with Auburn is, did they peak too soon? But you never know with a team. You don't tend to think so because they're built and they got a lot of depth and they play a lot of guys and they can win a variety of different ways and they got – Guys at the at the rim that can protect the rim and they play inside, they play outside. So there, there's a variety of ways Auburn can win. You just the only question I have about them did they peak too soon? It's Bama and Bourbon brought to you by the Beverage Place located next to the PGA Superstore on Highway 280. Pink package located across from Target next to Arby's on 280. It's a one-stop shop for everything: liquor, beer, seltzers, wine, sodas, mixers, cigars, ice, even fresh lemons and limes. They open early, they close late. Open 9 a.m. every day except Sunday. Get in today, go see Joe Chan Santana. Fine folks at the Beverage Place and Pink Package. We are talking today, Town Branch. Where are you on the Town Branch? First off, I can't get the finish either. I, I it says cherry, but I can't I, I can't, can't figure out what it's it is. Circling around, but first, I really like the smell. It's a little different. It's not as um, strong as some, but there's a there's an aroma to it that I like. The, the finish is, and I think by now, going back to late August, we have previewed probably twenty something bourbons. This is a unique finish that I haven't had before. Yeah, I can't place it. It's and you know most bourbons we talk about the burn and sometimes you know, talk about the palate and it sits on the tongue. I can't quite get this. It's yeah. just it's just different. It's 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 really different. Um, I guarantee you there's people out there that dig this. I don't yeah. know where I am on it because I can't I can't get it. Yeah. Um, but I agree with you on the because I get a ro- uh, the aroma. The, yeah, I the like oak. the aroma a lot. Um, and on the tongue, the initial, I get a little caramel, but I can't, I can't tell on the back side of the tongue what, I, what I'm getting. I can't either. It's just different. I mean, I know I'm not helping out people out there. It's just, it doesn't taste like your average bourbon the way it finishes. Okay, so when we do this next week, we're going to be previewing Tampa and what's coming up. The regular season will be at a close. Um, I know a again, lot about Tampa. Um, I, I know a little bit about the city. Um, I know you know a lot. Um, they went 2-0 this week, and they actually dropped in the polls their 25th. I, know. I don't know if that matters. I've seen them as high as four, though, when it comes to the seeding. Right now, they're pretty. I think they were solid five seeding. And, you know, if we go rewind it about a month, month and a half, there was, it didn't really look like Alabama had a path to 20 wins for the regular, regular season. Now they're at 19. They only need one yeah. of the final two to get there. So and they're going to get there. Yeah, they're going to get there. It's yeah. been up and down, but they got there. Um, okay, before we get out of here, and again, tell your friends, Bama and Bourbon, we do it every single week. We talk bourbon, and we're talking uh, Town Creek from Lexington, Kentucky this week. Um, and we also talk Alabama basketball, at least we are in March right now. The Athletic, it's a buck a month. You get a ton of great writers such as yourself, yeah. but you've got really an interesting piece on, I mean, there was a new addition to the yeah. Alabama um coaching staff today or yesterday yeah added uh, they just added the, the former Auburn wide receiver coach that got dismissed. can we get the story on how he gets dismissed a month yeah. into the season we'd like we'd like to hear the behind yeah. the scenes I'm there, sure you'll figure it out I'll give you a little little sneak peek into the article today uh, the three of the four new coaches that Alabama just hired all under 40 wow damn so. Youth movement from yeah. Nick Saban. So, uh, again, some of the things you get right here on Bama and Bourbon, but make sure you uh, subscribe to The Athletic. Check out Aaron's incredible work. And get into the Beverage Place Pink Package. Pick up a bottle of the Town Branch. We've got a, a special Town Branch uh, edition coming next week, so looking forward to that. Uh, the proof goes up. Oh, Small cask. There we so go. Uh, looking forward to that. Look, have a great week. Tell all your friends about Bama and Bourbon. Quickly, A&M, LSU, 2-0, 1-1, 0-2. 1-1. I will agree with you. I think to beat A&M, they lose to LSU. We'll do it again next week. It's been Bama and Bourbon right here on the next round.